Greetings to all the lovely children of Agnels. It is my pleasure to extend a cheerful welcome to you all on this monumental occasion of Children's Day and the festival of Diwali. It is rightly said, there's no picture so beautiful as smiling, bright-eyed, happy children. There's no music so sweet as their clear and ringing laughter. There are no seven wonders of the world in the eyes of the child. In fact, there are seven million. Undoubtedly, the sweetest period in anyone's life is their childhood. Childhood is an enchanting vista, an endless fun, a joyful classroom, an experience, an era of imagination. On this very special day, we, the management and staff of Agnels, look forward to spending some really mesmerizing moments with you, dear children, because you are so special to us. Indeed, you live in our heart. Every little action, your achievements, your smiles makes our heart erupt with joy. Just as lights sparkle the festival of Diwali, it is you dear children who sparkle light into the life of your parents, teachers, school and the nation. As quoted by our first Prime Minister Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, children are like buds in a garden and should be carefully and lovingly nurtured. They are future of the nation and the citizens of tomorrow. So, may the purity of your child's heart never fade and your laughter lasts for a lifetime. Let's join in this twin celebration to commemorate your special day. From a child in me to a child in you, wish you all a very happy Children's Day drafted with love. Today is the birth anniversary of Jawaharlal Nehru. India's first Prime Minister and as we all know we are celebrating Children's Day today. Jawaharlal Nehru loved children and he knew that they are the wealth of the country, its strength. In a world where hatred, intolerance and injustice lurk around every corner, the family and the school are the places where children are given tools to sculpt a better world. They learn to be human and kind and to make life richer for themselves and for others. Although Jawaharlal Nehru was born in an affluent family and had all the best privileges, he was a role model for lessons in humbleness. On many occasions, he would promptly sit on the grassy floor or clean up litter or even offer his own plate of food to a hungry child. These actions helped others around him to remain grounded and to realize that they were meant to serve, not to be served. This was the human side of this great visionary and extraordinary statesman who loved nature, animals, books and of course children. He said, I may not have time for adults, but I always have time for children. So children, let us remember this valuable message of Jawaharlal Nehru as we try to learn and educate ourselves. The object of education is to produce a desire to serve the community as a whole and to apply the knowledge gained not only for personal but for public welfare. Let us now sit back and enjoy 
some glimpses of the enjoyable activities we always have in school and as we refresh our memory let us hope that we can meet our friends and teachers and come back to our beloved school soon nostalgic moments we have a message from our dear madam antonet let us open our hearts and minds to receive her blessings and words of wisdom dear students childhood is a time of sunshine and innocence a time to make many beautiful memories so let me start by wishing you on behalf of the management and staff a happy children's day Each one of you is special and have the power to make a great difference in this troubled world. Each one of you is a promise, a success in the making. You have the potential to reach the stars. My prayer for you is that may God make you peacemakers and light bearers. I also want to wish all of you, dear children, teachers and parents, a very happy and prosperous Diwali. May this festival of lights bring sparkling laughter and abundance of health into your lives. At the same time, let us remember 
to have a clean and environment friendly celebration not forgetting the millions in our country who do not have the same privileges that we do let us share some of our sweets gifts and prayers for those who we can reach out to in our neighborhood may almighty god shower his blessings on you